So Australia's got the world's worst record of mammal decline. So in, in the 230 years since Europeans arrived, we've, we've lost about 10% of our native mammals. So this is a staggering proportion of our, of our native species have been lost. And, and we're increasingly realising that cats are really a key part of that loss. The project has been about trying to make use of existing data that, that people, that researchers all over Australia have collected on um, the densities of cats, the things that cats eat, to try and build up a picture of how many cats there are in Australia and the, the impact that they have on birds, mammals and reptiles each year. So how many, how many of those um, different groups are eaten each year by cats in Australia. The number of feral cats that we've got in Australia is about 2.8 million on average, but this number fluctuates pretty dramatically um, and, and driven by rainfall. So in dry years it goes down and in, in really good years, especially in arid central Australia, it can, can go up dramatically. So we get this real boom bust cycle in terms of cat populations, especially in the arid zone. So cats eat about 460 million individual native mammals each year across Australia. So it's a pretty, pretty huge number. It's a pretty conservative estimate. Many studies have speculated that species, especially mammal species um, that occur within the critical weight range, so between the size of like a mouse, which is about 30 grams or so, to the size of a small wallaby, about five and a half kgs or so, are the most vulnerable to cat predation and are being targeted by cats or eaten frequently by cats. And our study is the first to quantitatively confirm that this is something that is occurring across the country. Cats prefer species within the critical weight range and our data actually shows that they, they prefer um, species that are about 400 grams. There's a peak at about 400 grams. So in addition to mammals, um, cats eat about 380 million birds each year, so all native birds, and they eat about 650 million native reptiles a year. So really staggering numbers of, of native animals that have been eaten by cats every year. So it's not, it's not just threatened species that are being impacted by cats, so um, relatively common species such as um, common brush tail possums, northern brown bandicoots, that are they're still relatively common, but they're declining really rapidly. Um, and so this, this has really important consequences for, for ecosystems, their food sources for a lot of species, for example, owls and um, things like that. So there's sort of knock-on effects of, of the loss of these more common species, the decline of these more common species for, for other species in the, in the ecosystem. Most of those declines occurred in central and southern Australia quite a long time ago, so prior to the mid 20th century. Um, whereas we're real, in the last few decades, we're realising that, that we're experiencing a similar biodiversity crisis in northern Australia. So, so we're seeing really rapid declines in small mammals, small to medium sized mammals in, across the tropical savannas of northern Australia. If something's not done about the cat problem, we're probably going to experience similar extinctions in, in coming decades in northern Australia.